Okay, now here, as you can see on this phone, I'm typing some text on Samsung Notes application. While doing this, let's say I want to continue typing this note on another Samsung device. All I need to do is pick up the other device. It may be your Samsung tablet or any other Samsung phone. On the home screen, just swipe up from the bottom to open the recent application. Doesn't matter whether you have opened any recent apps or not. Here on the top, you will see a notification continue from your phone. When I tap on this, I can continue typing the note from where I have left on the other device. That is great, isn't it? Now you may wonder whether you can get back to the previous device to continue typing. Yes, you can do that because the note app is in sync with Samsung Cloud continuously. Now let me show you something more interesting. Now on this phone, let's go to gallery. I will open an image and copy it here. Now on this phone, I will be able to paste the same image wherever I want. As you can see on the note, I am pasting this image here, which was copied from the other phone. Now let me just open the clipboard here on this phone. Now I will again copy a different image here on the other phone. Here you see on this phone's clipboard, the copied images are appearing instantly. That is just amazing. Even the text I copy from this phone will appear on the other device's clipboard, which can be pasted there. That is an incredible feature offered by Samsung on its devices. Before I show you how to enable this feature, a sub and a like for this video would be much appreciated. Now, let me open settings. Let's tap on advanced features. Here we have continue apps on other devices option. Enable this toggle and that's it. It's as simple as that. Here it says pick up where you left off on other devices signed into your Samsung account. Just tap the icon that appears on the recent screen on your other devices. Supported apps, Samsung Internet, Samsung Notes. You can also copy text, images and more on this phone and paste them on your other devices. Both devices need to have this feature and Bluetooth turned on. The devices also need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. These are some of the prerequisites for you guys to use this particular feature. By the way, I tried continuing the note on the other phone on mobile data and I was able to continue without turning on the Wi-Fi because I had turned on sync on Wi-Fi and mobile data both. That's on the Samsung Note applications sync settings. Something for you to keep in mind. Now let me just quickly show you how this feature works on Samsung Internet. Let me just open a web page on Samsung Internet on this phone. And on the other phone, let me just swipe up from the home screen to open the recents. And here it is. On the top, you can see a notification continue from your phone. So we can continue browsing on this phone from wherever you have left on the other device. That is cool, right? Now the copy and paste function works seamlessly between the devices from any application. For example, if you want to copy something from the Chrome, you can copy it and the same copied content will be available on the other device on the clipboard. You can copy it from news application, you can copy it from Samsung messages, you can copy it from anywhere you want on one device. The other device will get that copied content on the clipboard. That is really seamless. This is certainly a wonderful feature which can be used between phones, between tablets, between phone and tablets, and maybe between Samsung Galaxy books and other devices. Let me know what do you think about it. Now the wallpapers featured in this video are linked in the description. You can go ahead and download them if you're interested. While you do that, smash the like button and lastly, don't forget to subscribe. That's it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.